there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's cracking, folks? You know who this is by the intro. You just heard who it was. So let me go and introduce myself again. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm in the motherfucking building. And uh, today I'm going to give you a video. It's going to be a heartstrung video product for you weak ones and uh it's a word exposed to hypocrisy and and lately in our uh culture i'm gonna talk about how the homosexual deviant cults are trying to i mean they have already but how they're 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 twisting the bibles the torahs the qurans how they're twisting and believers now and I might make this a multi, this might be a big video, I don't know, but I'll probably will. How believers have forsaken those three books and the religion for the chance to go to hell. Now, let me go in as I usually do. I've been getting comments in an inbox, mostly in the inbox. Nobody wants to be the commenter because I don't know why, maybe they want out it or maybe, I don't know. But I get comments in my inboxes. And one of my comments, and I hear this all the time, I hear this fallacy all the time where where they try to say, well, blacks were denied this, that, this, and other because they were black, and how the Bible was used, this one, this one, a bunch of dudes and chicks used this one on me. Well, the Bible was used to, to justify where they couldn't interracial marry, this and that. Now, let me go in first on your books. First of all, read through them. Well, hell, you guys don't read anyway. Google this up if you have to. There's no parts in the Bible, the Quran, or the Torah. Buddhism, everybody gets along. Be Buddhist. If, if, if this is what you guys want, let me on a side note, be a Buddhist. Buddhists get some, they get, they get along with everybody. Just be a Buddhist. But don't be none of the other three. But I digress. Back to my original point. In none of these books do they say race is a sin and none of these books do they say co-mingling with other races will send you to hell we're in it and i will admit i admit this one the bible the torah and the quran were used to justify what people were doing that doesn't mean that what's in the bible quran or torah it means that people were trying to twist it around and use it for that purpose the homosexuality is a sin Homosexuality is a big sin. It's it's one of the, it's like one of the top sins. It's in your books. And now here it, it it's 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 one of God's greatest sins. It says in your Bible. It's, it's, it's loud and clear. It says in your Bibles, your Qurans, your Torahs. Which let me on another side note that you have to understand. I think it's like the first six. Or, I think I, I definitely know it's the first six. Might be seven. The first six of the chapters of the Bible, all religions agree with. It. Like all religions are, are have the same understanding. Of the first six chapters of the like we're all because we're all ch children of Abraham when you when you look at. It. But the first six chapters of the Bible, maybe the seven, maybe the first seven. I'm a, I know first six definitely, but the first six chapters of the Bible, everybody can agree on. That, that's a little side note, but back to my lecture at hand again. I give you side notes all the time. The Bible, yes. The Bible and the good books, they were all used to, to hold back people from interracial marriage, and, and it was wrong. But that doesn't mean that was in the Bible. If people were using the Bible to hold... Here's, here's the point I'm trying to say. People are so in tuned into rhetoric, they don't, they don't listen anymore. They just If it sounds... Here, here's, what, here's our problem in America. If it sounds good to you, it must be good for you. Where the problem really is, just because everything is good to you, doesn't mean it's good for you. So in the Bible, the Quran, and the Torah, it says, man shall not lie with man as a woman. It says that. It says similar situations. It says similar wording to what I just told you. That's, that's, that's what, you're, what you believe says. So now, we, get, we come upon this where 
We have all these religious folks trying to tell me the Bible, the Torah, Quran are outdated for times. Now let me tell you, let me tell you people something. You mean to tell me, and I'm gonna blow you, I'm gonna blow you guys out the water with this one because I'm, I'm all, you guys are hypocrites, I'm gonna expose. So you mean to tell me that it, it, the Bible, Torah, and the, the, the Quran are out of the, I'm gonna say the three good books. So whenever you, whenever you hear me say the three good books, I'm tired of saying all three of them all the time, I'm just gonna short it because I'm lazy too. But the three good books are out of time. So you mean to tell me all the time I spent in church in a mosque, now, I'm not talking to all you, like, atheists and all you, all you hippies and all you losers that I'm going to say, the books are full of magic or whatever, whatever, whatever you guys say. I'm not talking to you guys. I know you guys will still put your comment down because you always do. But I'm not, I'm talking to the, the true believers of your religions, the ones who are now abandoning their religions, which are hypocrites. You mean to tell me that those three books are outdated for the times, so all that stuff I learned in church and in the mosque, it don't mean shit. This is what you people. This is what you believers are telling me. It don't mean shit. That means we're gonna follow man's laws, which are deviant in nature, and we're gonna. You guys are gonna forgive, you know, bypass God laws. You're telling me all the time I spent in church was a waste of my fucking time. You're telling me everything I learned in a mosque was a waste of my fucking time. And, and, and apparently, it's a waste of your times too. But you guys keep going to these churches, and your church says that. But see, this is what America has come to. America, has, you don't stand for nothing because you guys fall for everything. We we want to make everybody happy. Where and then here's what kills me: you people are the same people who are going to say that people with sleeping with cats and dogs are disgusting. I know there's going to be some people trying to justify the comments. They always do. You're going to say that child child pornography and all is disgusting, which it fucking is. But I don't think any of the other things I'm talking about really is too cool to do. Child rape ain't cool, sleeping with animals ain't cool, and homosexuality, I don't believe in it. I'm not stopping people from practicing it, I just won't vote for it. I'm not holding up your right, you can easily go do it. But people are telling me, well, I, I know for a fact, look man, to get my rights, it had to be voted on. What are you guys crying about? For me as a black person in this country, you guys are crying and whining about to get my rights in this country, it had to be voted on. It wasn't like they just said, just because you freed the slaves doesn't mean I was free totally from American suppression. It had to be voted on. They could have said, no, you know what I've been? I've been speaking with a fucking Canadian accent, eh? Because I want to stay in America. Hell, if it keeps going like this, I won't be staying in America because of you people. All you church followers and like religious followers that are came into this, you're going to hell. And uh, you guys can get mad at me, you can cry, you can whine, just by the book alone. And I don't want to hear none of this, but it also says don't eat shellfish, it also says this, it also says that. I don't care what it says. I'm talking about this right now. This is a topic, and, 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 and if you really want to get technical, I can pick your asses apart word for word, it don't matter to me. It means that everything I learned in church was just total bullshit. Everything I learned in the mosque was total bullshit. And it, kind of in a way, churches and synagogue by the first, like the New Old Testament is really a Torah, so I was in a synagogue kind of too. But the fact of the matter remains that you guys, and it, it, here's, here's the, and I know why, I know why it is. It's because people know that one somebody that's, that's a homosexual. People know so and so's a homosexual, you have a feeling towards so and so. I'm like, if I know you're homosexual, it don't phase me. It don't, I treat you like I treat everybody else. I'm gonna say, hey, okay, big deal. He's a homosexual, he's a cool dude to me. He never hit on me, cool. That's how I'm gonna treat you. I'm gonna treat you like a regular human being. I don't care if you're homosexual. I may not choose to indulge in that. I may not choose to vote for that. I don't vote for kids to, st to smoke. I don't, but that doesn't mean that they do, don't do it. I try to steer them not to smoke. But here's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not holding your civil liberties up. If you guys want to marry their state so you can marry in hell, I'm gonna stay now high where you may be able to you may be able to get married. But the fact remains I don't wanna I don't condone that. My vote is a my vote is condoning an, an illegal behavior towards God himself. Like if I wanna to go to hell, I'm not gonna go like I'm not I haven't been living righteous all my life, but like like if, if for some of you people who've been living righteous all your life and you're doing this, I could blow up an orphanage and still and then I can like I can uh, moonwalk past the pearly gates. 
Because a lot of you are just hypocrites. And a lot of preachers are not teaching this because some of them are gay. They're not teaching this because some of the people in the congregation are gay. I understand that. But the fact remains is, like I said, these churches are the ones sending you to hell. Now, I don't condone none of this death setting stuff. You know, I, I know uh, whatever, Uganda. I don't, I don't condone that. I'm like everybody live and let live unless you're hurting somebody else. I don't, I, that's a little too far. I don't believe in discrimination because you're gay or whatever this happens to I work with gay people. I have no problem with them. But, it, but like I said, it, it, let me put it to you like this. To me, it's just a lifestyle. And it's, it's, uh, people are saying, well, that's who I am. No, it's not who you are. The fact of the matter is, it's like, it's, it, if I know someone who Ralph Banks, I'm going to be cool with the dude, but I'm not going to be like, hey, man, you know, I'll be like, you need to stop if I know he's robbing banks. If I don't know, I'm like, he's still my friend, but he just happens to rob banks. And that's what I'm getting at. A lot of you want to justify and do your little tap dances and be like, well, hey, hold on. You're a basher. I'm not bashing. You cannot find any of my videos where I'm trying to make an example where I bash you. I speak my opinion. I'm speaking kind of clear. There's no room for error when I speak. People want to people want to set aside the Bible, the Torah, the core, okay, the big three, because somebody that they know are gay. You're not following that religion, and I and I and it's not my problem. It's your problem for being a hypocrite. That you're telling me that everything you're telling me that the the big three programs here are nothing but bullshit. And if that's the case, why do you still sit in the pews every Sunday morning? There's no need. That's it. That's him.